Okay, hello there, hollows. Welcome to what is going to be the final episode of this series. Um, I just wanted to delve into the DLC content briefly before wrapping up the series and then moving on to what is probably going to be a soul level one uh, Dark Souls 1 run but with long videos and I'm just going to cut it down very heavily so it'll only be probably a six episode series I'm planning or something like that not many episodes uh, just the good stuff Oh, I'm doing a lot of damage to this guy. Does he have less health than normal? No, I don't normally do this this much damage to him. Poor Kings was harder than this. The Sanctuary guard is usually one of the tougher ones. I don't know whether they toned down his health there or um mm, something's clearly up there. Hmm. Yeah, everything's good in that regard. Strange. Anyway, yes, I've never actually had to uninstall a mod before. So that's going to be an ordeal after this episode. Trying to uninstall this mod. I might just reinstall the game. That's what I did with Daughters of Ash. Uh, actually, no. I kept Daughters of Ash installed, actually. Uh, and then my computer went. <laughs> so I never had to uninstall it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got the A-Team theme tune stuck in my head again. I had that stuck in my head last time. And it's been like four or five days since I've recorded. Yeah, I'm about the way, Calamy. <coughs> Excuse me, still can't shake off this nasty cough, though. It always happens to me with coughs. Like, I don't get the cough that bad. But, like, the aftermath of the cough is just like a nightmare. I don't remember all these holes in the floor. I remember a couple. I don't remember there being that many. Oh, crap. Elizabeth's mushroom. They put that back in Dark Souls too, which I always found to be a nice touch, actually. Careful, I could really see myself falling. Um. Da 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 Oh, stop singing the eighteen. Never even seen the eighteen. So, is it up here we go? Is it? I don't know. No. It's not, but there's an item up here, so therefore I'm going to go up there. Will you? N oh, come off of me. Do, 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 do. Yeah, what's actually quite interesting is, like, when I was doing my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, when I was recording the videos for my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, which you'll still be seeing releasing um, currently, 
I was recording all those videos thinking no one was going to be watching. <laughs> so, like, if my commentary isn't, like, that entertaining, where are my souls? I've got them. Wait. How did I get them? Did I just pick them up with autopilot? I didn't realize. <coughs> anyway, yes, I was just uh, recording those videos. And, and at that time, I was getting like 10 views a video. Sometimes less. But you usually just get random views from like random people who just pop in, you know, watch a video and then leave the channel and never really engage um, with the channel. So there was, like, and usually most people would just watch the first five minutes. But now actually having people watching the channel it's actually pretty uh pretty funny that like when i was recording the videos i didn't intend for people to really be listening i thought that most of the time no one would actually be hearing much of my commentary so it's quite funny really in a way oh okay okay see good bonfire placement but enemies, you know. Okay. I'm assuming this fight's going to be the same. I haven't actually thought I'd saw this for a while. Okay, he buffed up. Yeah, keep making those noises, mate. Always throws me the time over that. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I needed to get the humanity, but. Well, I couldn't even get up there.
Oh, come off of it. Get up. Oh, there we go. Nice. It took about, I think, five tries. Which is awesome. Because on my last playthrough that was on the channel, it took something like 70 tries or something. <laughs> Dear, I've been invaded. It's the problem with being human. Yeah. 
You're dead. Oh, come on! Move, move. Oh, my God. Okay, then. Right. Let's see what's pushing for it. Chained prisoner. Are these guys alive? I'm glad they've made this guy a boss, because I always thought this guy should be a boss. So I'm going to try and take them all out first. Then focus on him afterwards. How did I survive that? Jesus. <sighs> My health must have just about recovered enough. But yeah. Come on. Are they... Are they respawning? They're respawning, aren't they? If they're respawning... Gotta try and get him to break these. This guy should be... Oh crap, I was about to say this guy shouldn't be too much of a chance. Yeah, because now we don't have those. This is just a regular fight.
Ow. 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 There we go. Awesome. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now then. Down we go. To the pits of hell. Let's uh, heal up. Okay, so I still don't know what to expect. Okay, we've got a bonfire here. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to head through this area, see if it's Manus at the end, and if it's just a regular Manus fight, then we'll just call the, the series here, I think. Uh, so, see you on the other side. Okay then, so this is a conclusion of the series. Um, Manus didn't have anything else after him, a different phase or different variation. So, I think that is everything of the Shadow of the Eclipse mod. Uh, I looked through the change logs to see if there's any other new bosses. So the reason why I did the DLC is to experience the chain prisoner fight um, that I saw. Uh, I cannot see any other... Um, DLC, uh, not DLC, any other new bosses that I haven't encountered, but if you know of any other bosses that are in this mod, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make an effort to go and try and find them, track them down and do the boss fight, um, because that's the main thing I enjoy in these mods and seeing the new things, the new spins on things and uh, even if, you know, even just that Dreamer of the Eclipse boss fight, I still enjoyed it, even though it was literally just very simple enemies coming to fight you. It's cool having that new kind of um, spectacle in the game and that new experience. Uh, I was really hoping that the cut uh, boss would be in this, the cut boss, because uh, that's in Daughters of Ash. I thought that maybe uh, this mob would have had a spin on that cut boss from the original Dark Souls, but I couldn't see anything about it. Maybe it is in there somewhere and I've missed it. But again, let me know if I've missed anything down in the comments below. Otherwise, that'll be the conclusion of the Shadow of the Eclipse mod playthrough. If you've enjoyed the series, let me know down in the comments below. And I'm looking to do Daughters of Ash. And I'm looking to do the Ascension mod at some point, potentially as well. Uh, along with a Soul Level 1 run, which is going to be just a few videos. Uh, cut to, you know, cutting out some of the boring bits and just focus on the boss fights. If you enjoyed this series, then let me know down below. And, um... Make sure leave a like, comment, subscribe. Maybe share this video with him with him. Enjoy it if it was good enough. Thank you again for watching. This is Soul Reborn signing out. Have a good one.